What's up everybody, Zach here from Move Outdoors and today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review of the Spot Hog Triple Stack. This right here is the Spot Hog Triple Stack. And uh, I have the Fast Eddy version right here. It's what I've been running the last couple of years. I started out with a Fast Eddy double pin, and then last year I moved to a Fast Eddy triple stack, and I just got a new bow, an Elite Omnia, which I uh, look forward to some videos upcoming on that. And this is the brand new site that's going on the Omnia. Uh, Spot Hog triple stack, Fast Eddy, same as I was running on my Matthews Traverse last year. So I have a year's worth of experience with this site, and I'm gonna explain to you everything I like and don't like about it. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna notice straight out of the box is that this is a heavy site. Um, there's no going around it. Spot Hog is known for being absolutely bulletproof, but they're also known to be one of the heaviest sites on the market. Um, the trade-off, of course, is that it's bulletproof. So I went ahead and weighed this, and this site right here as it is, 0 .010 pins, the small, uh, MRT and a sight light here. This weighs 14.22 ounces, so almost a pound. Um, so that is a lot of weight being added to your bow. So, I mean, I love Spot Hog's durability, but I do wish they could shave some weight off. Uh, it is significantly heavier than my Spot Hog double pin was, my Fast Eddy double pin, uh, mostly because this housing right here is much larger to accommodate three pins. So if you're coming from a double pin or a typical fast eddy platform, you're gonna notice that this housing right here is quite a bit larger. So I grabbed my double pin right here just so you guys can, can have a comparison. Um, this is the double pin and this is the triple stack. And you can see the difference in the actual site housing. However, if I turn them around here, um, one thing that's nice about the triple stack, and I'll get my hand out of the way so you can see that a little better, is the fact that uh, the MRT is the same size, so you're not gonna need to change peep size uh, if you're moving up from the double stack with the smaller housing, which of course is a plus, but you are gonna notice that it is a larger overall housing. On the bottom side of the housing here, this is how you're going to adjust each individual pin. One of my favorite features about this site is that you can adjust each pin and each pointer individually. Uh, one of my biggest frustrations with the double pin was that I couldn't adjust the pins or the pointers. So I often ended up getting like 2036, 2034 as my pins. And when you have 15 yards that you kind of got to guess between, I, I just wasn't a fan of that. I really like having that 20, 30, 40 pin layout or 20, 30 pin layout um, where it's, it's just easier to shoot the gap. It's just easier for me. Maybe you feel differently, but for me, it's a lot easier to shoot the gap if I have set distances um, and about a 10 yard gap between each pin. So that's one of my favorite things about this site right here is that each one of these pins can be moved up or down uh, using these three screws down here. And once you have these moved to where you want them in your housing, so if we come to the back side right here, you can see the pointers right there. And uh, each one of them has a screw right here and a quick turn of your Allen wrench and that loosens that and you can slide it up or down to wherever each pin is. So what I personally did is I sight in at 20 and 60 with my top pin like you're supposed to do to get your sight tape. And then once I have the sight tape, I'll mess with my middle and bottom pins until they're at 30 and 40. Of course, one thing that is standard on all Spot Hog products that I really, really enjoy is their micro adjust left right tuning right here. Uh, just a little knob that you'll turn in and out to tune the sight to the left or the right. All you got to do is loosen this uh, switch right up there and you can feel the sight kind of become loose. You can play with it a little bit and just I'm sure you can hear that going. You can count how many clicks you do, uh, back it off, move it up. 
like I said, this site's not set up, so I'm not messing anything up. Um, and then when you're done, you just crank it back down and she's solid. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Also in the package, if you don't want to use the smaller adjusted MRT, that would be the same size as if you're using a fast eddy double pin or a different fast eddy configuration, um, or just another spot hog pin configuration, I should say. Um, it comes with a larger MRT ring and also the singular ring. Um, so you can put whichever one you want on, nice customization, kind of customability thing that uh, I like, but I don't really use. Um, it's just nice if you wanted to change some stuff up if you were running a larger peep or you didn't really want the MRT. Some of the other main features of this site is the ability to shift the entire housing in and out. Um, depending if you run out of travel here with your micro adjust left right you can bump your housing left or right depending on where you need it which is very handy um, in addition you can take out this bottom screw right here and this top screw right here and slide this housing assembly up here up or down on your actual slider bar uh, depending on where you need it which is again a great feature and then probably the most underutilized feature on uh, the spot hog products is the third axis um, so spot hog has a third axis system right here uh, this is actually the only thing on this site that actually is set up so i'm not going to mess with that at all for you guys but um, all you need to do is loosen one of these screws tighten down the other side over here and you can mess with your third axis basically indefinitely and get a pretty good angle on your site depending what you need. So far I've talked a lot about stuff that I've liked with this site. So let me touch on a, a few things that after using it for this last year, I've decided I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so the first thing would actually be the way that these pointers are uh, figured out. So all it is is that small little button head screw you can see right there. And it doesn't take much to loosen it and tighten it back up, but actually getting it exactly where you want it can be kind of a pain. Um, when I first set up the triple stack that's on my Traverse, I spent probably an hour at the range just setting my 30 and 40 because um, it would look like it was on at 30 and 40, and then when you slid it out to farther distances, because that close, um, you know, your arrows don't really have time to drop, but once I started going out to 70, 80, 90 yards in practice, I was running into an issue where, where my pin was wasn't where the arrows were hitting. The arrows were hitting slightly low, slightly high, depending on um, if I was too low or too high here with these uh, indicators or pointers, whatever you wanna call them. So I would really love it if Spot Hog would incorporate some sort of just little hash lines even, just so you can kind of figure out exactly where it needs to be or give you something to really hold that pointer in place when you're tightening it. Because one of the issues I found is that when you're putting that last little crank into the button head to make sure that it really doesn't go anywhere, you'll get a slight shift in um, your pointer, which that's, that's what was causing me a lot of the issues. Um, it took a little bit of time to figure out, and, and it's a minor thing, because once you have it set, you don't have to worry about it ever again, um, unless you're gonna mess with your arrow setups like I do. But it's not a game changer. It, I certainly wouldn't let it stop you from buying the site, but it is kind of a minor nuisance. Overall, after a full season of using the Spot Hog Triple Stack, in all honesty, aside from these minor setup issues that I was telling you about, I fully recommend this site. Um, it is expensive. Uh, I got this one right here. This one came in at, uh, I believe it was $375. It is an expensive site, but again, it's pretty bulletproof. I mean, there there's a couple minor issues during setup. Um, after taking it to, what was it, four states, um, hunting a variety of species, a bunch of different environments, I will definitely recommend it to pretty much anyone. And, think if you're looking for a new site and you're especially looking for three vertical pins and you want the ability to adjust your pins to 20, 30, 40 or uh, whatever your preferred pin gaps are, I highly recommend you check out the Spot Hog Triple Stack. 
Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video and you're still here, please give us a like and a subscribe if you think we're worth it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time here on Move Outdoors.